Hi guys, this is Dexter, and for today's episode, I will continue to teach you on how to operate the CNC milling machine. So, let's start. And you just need a design here. You just need a design, for example, I have here when you go that far. Again, you need the SBP, SBP file for this one. SBP file. So, I'm going to cancel this one. And then I'm just going to give you an example on how we design our designs. Here, B card Pro Chopbot. So we have here again the B card Pro or Chopbot. Okay, click this one. So a tip for everyone: if you if you have a Chopbot or a CNC milling machine, just check where did the control panel place. So I have here here in the right side of the machine, the center part. So I can get my orientation. So here I have the Z axis there and also I have the Y axis there. So you will not be able to damage your CNC milling machine. If you accidentally place or exchange both axes, you accidentally put Y axis there and then so in the Y axis you have the maximum of 1220 mm. So if you have a design that exceeds 1,220 1, mm plywood size and then the machine cannot go further because there's a stopper and it might damage your CNC milling machine okay um, next is yeah here um, I have here this uh, shock mode edition Picard Pro so um, I am gonna go into create a file so the first thing that the VCAR will give you is the job setup first the job size X and Y so we have the maximum of plywood size 1220 mm by 2440 mm the maximum so X is since I have the larger one the X here 2400 and down is 120. This one, this one here, this one display, this thing here is my light bulb side. So, since I'm going to um, give you an example, just a bit of example on how we cut and packet our materials here, our designs here, then that's the same 300 to 300. Okay, so next is I am going to get the material Z. So I need to get the thickness of the material. So and just wait. I'm just gonna get my ruler. Just gonna get my ruler. So assuming that I have here the material, since it is a sacrificial board only, since I cannot get I cannot carry the whole plywood because I am all alone here. So I have here 10mm, 10 10mm, 10 so I already measured the, the material that I will be cutting, so I'm going to change this one to 10mm, so now the X and Y dating position is this one, and units, this one, so notice that this red line here, red dot here 
is my name, my origin. Okay, so I'm using MDF and then okay. So there's a lot of tools here that, but I will not also dig further about this one. I'm just going to give you an example on how we cut it and then how we pocket the, the designs. For example, I will be making a just a Click and drag. Don't click, release. Click, drag, and then release. Okay, for example, here, this one. Also, you can also input your dimensions here. So, for example, this one. And then I will apply, then close it. So I have here simple box, simple square. So this one is I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to cut this one and then we'll go to tool pass. So for cutting we will select profile. So again, profile is for cutting. We have here pocket is for pocketing. Well, it's not literally pocket. I mean, you put something just like pocket. <laughs> okay. okay, then we have here drilling, engraving, delay, prism, also 3D, wrapping, 3D, finishing, engraving. So let's just focus on this, this one. So I have here, okay. So the start depth is zero, of course we need to start at zero and then we have the material here, the material that we measured earlier is 10 and then we to edit this one just making sure that we are using one fourth bit. So earlier we put one fourth bit, so it's a 25 inches, okay, in RPM, ankle number 3, okay. So I have here tool one fourth, and then it says passes two. So meaning, if you have 10 mm thickness of the material, in a machine will pass two passes only, and then cut it by five mm. So divide two, so five mm. Each cut is five mm. So we need to edit the passes so that we, so that the tool bit is will not break. So we are using a soft wood MDF maybe. It's okay. Then, okay. So we have five passes. So when we divide this one, five, and then we have five passes here, then ten. So meaning it's two per passes. So machine vectors. I am using outside here so that we can get the desired um, 250 by 250 square. So when we go inside, there's minus minus 1.4. I mean one minus one quarter of the bit and on minus half of the one fourth. So we'll go to outside and then yeah it's finished. So, so if we calculate this one we have here profile one. So if I reset the preview and then this one and then just just mouse one and then maybe uh, isometric how the machine works and then preview auto pass so there is one one passes two okay, and then it fully cut your design so I have your profile okay I'll close this one next and I will go back to the new so how will you make a pocket on your on your this this one this box. So for example, I want just I want just add this, this, one, this one. and then apply and then close. And then here I will select this one and then go to pocket two. So this one is yes, you don't need to put the the 10 mm thickness of the material. Just going to put 5 mm. 
giving three and then and then checking the tool it is one port and then edit passes we need to change this one to two and okay so in three mm two passes 1.5 mm each pass and then offset conventional This is very important. I'll show you. When you cut it and then pocket it, this is not the right sequence of how you design your your design and CNC milling. So you need to place this pocket first before you cut. Why? Because when you cut it first and then pocket your materials, the material that you, you cut will make more move. So here I just change the, the sequence. So reset and then do it. So pack it first and then cut. And finish. Easy. Then then you select all this two path list and then go to save tool path. So make sure that you check this one because sometimes some of our designers or some of our operators will not notice this one and then by the end of their operation they say, wait, is it my design is like this? Something like that. So you need to check because we have two here. We have two two designs here. So we need to check that one so that in order to get that two here. And since we are using MM, remember when you go to here we are using mm so we need to change also this one to mm and then save to what okay we'll go to we'll go to desktop and then just type it here some and then save once it's done since i check the automatically put the design into the machine so I have here SVP file already so when I open this one this one fill in the sheets and uh, I will not discuss any further of this so since the only thing that you could do about this is just press enter you cannot cancel you cannot recall because just press enter but before that we will set up our vacuum so if the machine will start turning and cutting the MDF so that it will not get dust. Yeah, so let's wait. Hi guys, so I already set up the the shop box, our vacuum that is connected to our machine. So so this is the vacuum here that connects the shop box. Um, the vacuum will collect the dust while the spindle is turning. So, a quick reminder guys, in order for the future um, operators that will not have accidents, you need to check the machine if it's 110 volts or 220. So for our shot box, it's 110 volts. I already plugged the wire to 110 and then yeah let's start and this one is very noisy so Just press start. I'll press start and then the machine is running. So I already click the start button. So the machine is ready. 
and a uh, quick reminder also when you click OK the start button all your emergency stop and if anything goes wrong or happen just bend the emergency button okay so clicking OK and then I'll show you a different video on the machine how it's working so here I am so I already watched the CNC machine and I think it's okay and it's running well so let's wait for my design to be finished see you in the next minute That's it, and I will show you later. Later, the the output of the the design. So thank you for listening, and I hope I hope you learned something about this video. Thank you. Okay, um, it's done cutting, and it's done packeting. So I turned off already the CNC machine, and then. Yeah, this is just an example on how the machine machine works. So I am using a a sacrificial board for this video, and then because I cannot carry a whole plywood at our storage area, and I have here um, well, don't judge. <laughs> so I will try to explain. So this one is the pocket that I've already mentioned earlier. Well, as you can see, it's not level because as you can see, this, this sacrificial board is much, there's much damage about this um, sacrificial board. And this one is the cutting. So as you can see, there's a line here, but I cannot get the this one because it's glued under and then yeah that is I mean I'm just showing you on how the, the CNC machine works and and we if we have the the, the plywoods and then you can you can really cut the the plywoods here in the CNC so I'm just showing you the the concept of cutting and then um, um, pocketing using a CNC milling machine so yeah so thank you guys and I hope again uh, you will you, you learn something about this video and then thank you for listening <laughs>